Well, hello there and welcome to Station News. Let's talk a little bit about logic channels. Logic channels are something like this setup. You want data from one network to the other network. Of course you can use a logic reader. And on this side I have a logic writer. So I can send data from one network through the other network. But if you can do that with an IC chip and a device, you can see over here I have a setup. My battery charger is one side is connected to my yellow line and the data side is connected to this green line. It's separated with a transformer. Over here, I just have the yellow line completely feeding everything. And over here, I have a APC that separates the power. And over here, I have a red line and a logic memory. But how to set up, how to use this? First thing of all, make sure that your data and your data is connected. Otherwise, it won't work. In this case, over here, I have a power network. This is a simple script. What I have now in here is just to turn the light off and on with a switch. Let's dive into it. So it's very simple. You load into the logic value, I well, call it LV, from the switch, the setting, and you set the light on with that logic setting that is a one or a zero but now if we can send that logic value through the battery charger onto a next next network honestly it's very simple what you are going to do is almost the same we add a line set in this case we're going to use the charger d2 you cannot use a name, you have to really do on a screw. So that's right, will not work. You have to set it on a screw. Then do you do a column, and then you do have to decide which port you want to use or connection. If you go in your stationpedia, and we're going to search for the charger, the battery cell charger, you can see down here we have data is connection zero and power is one. So this is connection 0 and that is my power, that's connection 1. I want to send it to the power and that was connection 1. Where do we want to send it? We want to send it to a channel. So channel and in this case 0, that's the first one. You have totally 0 till 7 channels that are 8 channels total. Channel 0 till 7. And we're just going to write there the value, the logic value. Confirm and export. And now he is sending the data through the channel. You can see already the other lights are going with me. Also, I have over here a IC that reads directly from that yellow line. And this is the status from what the channel is. In this case, it's a one. Turn it off it's zero over here I'm not using a battery charger but I'm going to use the logic memory so honestly it's almost the same setup as you normally do you have a light well I'm going to set the screws so light is on T0 I'm going to do the logic memory on D1 we're going to do a loop now we're going as you normal do is load into the logic value I'm doing just now R0 and we are going to read from the logic memory D1 then we need to decide the watch port again so if you go again in your station PDA and you look for a memory a logic memory you go down you have data zero and data one we have two datas here one a zero and one so which one do i need to use well after figuring out a little bit if you have the place memory like this then it's that zero and that is one so we need to use one again what do we want to read we want to read channel zero 
like I said, you cannot use names. You need to really do it on a screw. And then we're going to just set the light on our zero. We jump loop. I forgot one line. A yield a small tick. And we do confirm. Export this to your IC chip. We turn it on. The lights are the screws are already set. And you can see the light turns on. Turn off everything. Turn on everything. So that's how logic channels are working. You can use almost any device that has a separate data port and a separate power port. Not all, but the most devices will work. Even over here, I have just a IC housing. My power is one side and my data is on the other side and using this as my separate between two networks. Over here, I'm using a switch that separates the net one network to the other network. But you can use very different devices. Like over here, I have just a power bench. Data is connected to data again and my power is on a separate network to my bench. Yeah, but I can do that also with logic readers and writers. Yes, you can. But logic and readers and writers are one way. Channels you can use both way. So let's put up a notch. I made a extra IC code, put it in there. Hey, it doesn't change anything. No. But if I turn now the lights off, everything goes the lights off. If I run now to the other side, I have an almost similar IC code over here. I can turn the lights on here also. And off. So that's how the logic channels work. Instead of losing logic devices, we're using just an IC with a battery charger. In this case, or an existing device, in this case a memory. You could use also a battery because it has also separate data and power ports, even on the back. Then you have three connections. You can use almost every device possess. I hope this will help. Thank you for watching and catch you next time.